Just a quick video for those of you who are interested in the test results from our drinking water from the stream um, results. They've come in and quick answer is it's drinkable, but there's one bit towards the end that uh, it comes up red, but I've decided I'm okay with it anyway. I'm not sure how planners and people like that will see it, but I'll explain it as we go over it. It'll be on the computer, which will be a bit different to the rest of our videos because I try and stay away from technology as much as possible. And I've got this huge screen, so it's gonna it's gonna be a bit different to usual. But like I said, it's a very quick video, so we'll just go over that, and uh, yeah, we'll see we'll see what the results came back with. A couple of videos back, we finished our drinking water, but we haven't had a tested yet. So we have filled out, uh, or my wife has filled all these containers with the water from our tap and we're going to submit it to the company which is Ivario. Hopefully we'll get that back in a couple of days, maybe a week, and I'll, I'll show you the results and we'll see what's in the water. If you've seen the videos, you know this enough. We collect the water from the stream, we send it through a pipe, we put it in some drums, we send it through a pre-filter, it goes into a pump, it goes into a larger particulate filter, it then goes through a UV steriliser, which is a light bulb in a tube, and then it goes to where we need the water. From there, it's drinkable. I'm not sure how much of this you can see, but um, I'm gonna try. So this is the brand that we went with. It's Vario, which is vario-lab.co.uk. And they do different tests here, basic plus and water test premium. Actually, I don't think we got the water test premium. I think we got, let's have a look at this. Yeah, we got well water premium. Um, ours isn't collected from a well, it's collected from a stream. Um, and how much is it? 249 pounds, 44 analytes. Analytes, is that word? Tested. Test your well water for heavy metals, substances causing hard water and electrical, blah, 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 blah. Test all the stuff, see if you can drink the water. Um, we sent it away first and it came back with, they'd lost it. So they'd lost it in transit. So the reason it's taken quite a while for us to get this all checked is because the first result was lost. I think I'm probably just gonna, just gonna whip through the results because a lot of these, I don't know what they mean. And if you do, then brilliant. But uh, what we got, ammonium, it's green, lead, it's green, iron, it's green. Ammonium, interestingly, we have a little bit more than the rest, but it's okay. Water hardness, that one might be interesting. It's 26 milligrams per litre. Water hardness is measured in milligrams per litre and is considered to be the total amount of calcium and magnesium. A special calculation method is used as a result of blah, 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 blah. Calcium, magnesium, so that makes up the water hardness then, doesn't it? Nitrates. That's, um, that can run off in farmland, can't it, nitrates, from the fertilizer. We've got low, low value here. It's green, but it looks like nitrates, one nitrate value of 0 0.11 milligrams per litre, and then the other one is much lower, but there's no, no, there's no difference between those. I can't see what the, what the difference is. Manganese, pH. Okay, so pH, we've got peat, you know, we're in the highlands of Scotland, we're in a glen, so we've got quite a lot of peat here. So I thought it was going to be quite acidic. Um, turns out we've got 7.8 and it can be between 6.5 and 9.5. So that's actually not too bad. I thought that'd be, um, thought that might be skewed a little bit. It doesn't taste, you know, either alkaline or acidic, but um, I did wonder. Electrical connect conductivity. I didn't think uh, water could have different electrical conductivities. I thought it would, perhaps it's the particles, you know, if it's got things, um, floating around in it, but ours is low. 71, is that parsecs per centimeter? That upside down N with a line on it? Enter cocky, no idea what that is. Okay, so these are, uh, that's probably a bacteria. Zero, that's good. Coliform, coliform bacteria, zero. E. coli, zero. Okay, so these, these are the bits that I was talking about that have come back being red. So all of our bacteria here are good, as in zero. So that, that, those are the important things. You want to make sure we haven't got any E. coli. Um, or 
the other one. So I suppose you don't want, don't want bacteria that's going to make you really ill, do you? Um, I'll go over the red bits. I'll just go right down to the bottom. No, we'll go over the red bits now. So what we've got here is, it took me a while to understand it. So it says here total viable count 22 degrees and total viable count 36 degrees. And what it seems to say in the description here is that if you take the sample of water and you put it in a heater and you heat it up to 22 degrees or 36 degrees, how much bacteria grows in that at those temperatures. And I'm assuming because the dangerous bacteria counts are zero, that it means other bacteria. And obviously there's going to be bacterias, bacteria present because I'm just collecting this from a stream. We're not dumping chlorine or anything that obliterates everything in the water. So I would expect there to be some things. Um, and I'll go over in a minute the way that we're planning. Well, we're all already combating this, but I'll go over what that is. So here it says we've got a greater than 300 units and a greater than 300 units of the other two and it says we're allowed 100 units so we're three times above what we should be at 22 and 36 degrees but it does also state in here that it may not be from the um you know the contamination might not be from our water source or from our water filtration or any of that bit it may be from the tap that we collected it from or contamination in the pot that we put it in which is least likely what I expect it probably is, is the static caravan before we bought it sat for quite a while. The pipework inside is quite old and I imagine there's probably some contamination in those lines. Um, so I don't think it's in the water outside of that. The most, the most likely thing is going to be it's in the pipes from you know, the bottom of the caravan because the rest of it's all brand new. So the likelihood of there being anything in there is low. It's also gone through all our filters and our filters are all pretty good. That's where I think it is. Um, I'll go over, you know, how we're going to combat that or how we are combating that in a minute. Chloride, green, bromide, green, sulfate, very low, total anions, middle, fluoride, low, phosphate, middle, mercury. I have heard that fluoride makes your hair fall out, so I really don't want a lot of that in the, in the water. Palladium, silver, ah, oh, that was low, could have done with a bit more of that. Chromium, gallium. Yttrium, thallium, scandium, bismuth. I haven't heard of most of these. It's also pretty hard to pronounce, most of them. Gad, oh, here we go. Gadolinium, barry, 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 berry, there we go, start the right one. Berry, lium, cobalt, cadmium, uranium, uranium. I wouldn't have said that would have been in there. Nickel, copper, zinc, Aluminium, stronium, barium, that, there we go, there's the one I was after, the barry. Sodium, magnesium, calcium, potassium, lithium, arsenic. Oh, arsenic. I'll tell you what, there is some stuff in water that I would not have said would have been in water. I mean, arsenic is um, pretty poisonous, isn't it? Okay, that's the end of the, that's the, end of the test. It's, it's all green, apart from those two bits that I said, which are about if you warm the water up, then you get bacteria in there. So let's go, let's go over quickly um, why that's not concerning me all that much. Quite a few people have asked me why, why didn't we go for a bigger water storage? Um, you know, it's, it's, we haven't got a lot of water storage here. We've got four of these drums and I think from memory they're 220 litres per drum. So what's that? Two, four, six, eight, nine hundred 900 litres, something like that. Um, why didn't I go for a bigger, bigger water storage? And the main reason is because I bought these before we moved up. I could get them shipped to us nicely, easily. I then put them in a van, brought them up when I moved up here. I was on my own um, for most of that, and these are easy to move. Second reason is I was planning on doing a natural water filter, which is putting gravel and stone and all that kind of stuff in. I was going to lug it all the way up the top of the hill, these, and then fill it up so that we had a natural filtration with um, charcoal in the top to kill any bacteria. Didn't end up doing that because I didn't think the planners would be so happy. It works pretty well from what I hear, but trying to get that signed off, it's gonna be a nightmare, plus moving it. So I ended up with these, and then after putting them in place, I've realized there are other benefits. And those problems that we've mentioned on the water test, it test results, I think we'll be combating with this because our daily water use is about half, maybe a third of all four of these which means that the water in here gets refreshed every 
two, three days, maybe, maybe sooner, depending on how many washes we do. Just had new babies, so we're doing a lot more washes at the minute. And because the pipe work drains out sort of, what's that, three quarters of the way down, that means three quarters of the tank gets emptied every couple of days, it gets refreshed. So, I'm, you know, the water's not sitting for very long here. Um, and I've heard, that, you know, sitting, A, sitting, you know, if you imagine drinking water that's been sat there for ages, it's going to taste pretty rank. Um, Secondly, we've got nice fresh spring water, so refreshing the supply every couple of days feels nice because it's nice fresh water. And you don't get bad things, I don't know if I say growing in the water, but you don't get bad things settling in the water. There's a very little bit at the bottom that stays there that I drain out perhaps every month. Um, but if you think about it, if the water's filling up, it kind of swells it as it fills anyway. So I think it gets mixed in. So the chance, if you imagine summer and these tanks are sat there warming up all day, um, it would be bad if you just had that tank sat over a long period of time and it slowly warmed up and the bacteria are all collected. I mean, but then it goes through the sterilizing filters. So we are combating that further down the line, but by having these circulated that frequently and drained and not having a huge vat of water, um, I'm hoping that, that that won't be too much of an issue, but I am keeping it in mind and I am thinking about ways to perhaps fix that. But we're in a caravan it's temporary we're building a house i'm going to move these when we have the house well when i build the house anyway all the new pipe work's going to be for the house so yes it's a problem i haven't died yet and i've been drinking it for quite a while as have my family we're all, we're all fine it tastes nice um so i'm i'm calling it for i'm calling it okay it's a problem that i think i can solve later on and it's going to be solved anyway because i'm completely redoing all of this when we've done the house, which by the way, I'm working through the design at the minute and it's, um, it's looking pretty cool. So I'll, I'll do a video going through that um, when I've got it to a, a bit further, you know, a bit further down the line with the, the design work. So there we go. I have an exciting project coming up in the next few videos. Um, you see behind me, Starlink is up there. It is rubbish. It is rubbish. So I've, I've purchased some bits to make our own mast to get the better internet for our money far cheaper per month so i'm going to do a video or probably two videos on that i don't know how it goes yet i've got the bits waiting over there so one of the next videos will be our attempts to beat starlink for a lot 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 less money here we go you want to come and see that come join us be nice to see you there we'll see you in the next one